In this video, we're going to find the rules for adding integers to make life a little easier so that we don't always have to use the number line to get the answer to these addition problems. But we are going to begin with some number lines. So let's do a number line for each of these problems. And just to make sure we agree on the answers. We got to do that. We got to make sure we agree to the answers. Otherwise, there's no way we're going to find a pattern. So positive 5 plus positive 3 means a hop to the right of 5. A hop to the right of 3 puts us at the first hop puts us at 5. Second hop puts us at 8. So the answer is 8. Down here, negative 10 plus negative 5 means we're going to start at 0. zero. Hop to the left of 10. Hop to the left of 5. First hop puts us at negative 10. Second hop puts us at negative 15. So the answer is negative 15. Up here we've got positive 5 plus negative 2. So we'll start here. First hop is 5 to the right. Oh, let me start it over here. Guess it doesn't matter much. 5 to the right. And then negative 2 is 2 to the left. So the first hop puts us at 5. The second hop of negative 2 puts us at 3, so that answer is 3. And then down here, negative 8 plus positive 3, we're going to start at 0. First hop puts us way to the left at negative 8. And the second hop of positive 3 puts us at negative 5, so this answer is negative 5. Now in a previous lesson, we've learned that addition is commutative. So 5 plus 3 is 8, so is 3 plus 5. Down here, negative 10 plus negative 5 is negative 15, but so is negative 5 plus negative 10. And then up here, negative 2 plus positive 5 is equal to 3. And down here, positive 3 plus negative 8 is equal to negative 5 still. So the order doesn't matter, doesn't change the answer at all. Uh, so what seems to matter is the, the, the numbers themselves, not the order that they are in. And if we look, we can see that this column are problems where we're adding the same signs. So up here, we're adding a couple of positives. Here, we're adding a couple of negatives. And the hops are both going in the same direction. So here, two hops to the right, here, two hops to the left, in which case all we have to do is add the absolute values. And if the signs were positive, the answer is positive because they're both hopping to the right. And if the signs were both negative, the answer is negative because they were both hopping into the negative side of the number line. So there's that rule. And then the this column, we were adding both problems, had two numbers where the signs were different. Positive and a negative, negative and a positive. Now, in this case, we went 5 to the right, 2 to the left, but because we went greater in the right direction, or the positive direction, than to the left, means the answer remains positive, even when we swap the numbers right here. And down here, when we had two different signs, we hopped further to the left for negative 8 than we did to the right for the positive 3, and that left us on the negative side of 0. So this rule is a little bit trickier. This rule is you subtract the absolute values. So up here, 5 minus 2 is 3. Here, 8 minus 3 is 5. So you subtract the absolute values, and then you attach the sign of the number that has the larger absolute value. Up here, since we went more to the right, more to the 5 than to the negative 2, to the left, means the answer remains positive. And down here, since we went further in the negative direction, to the left, our hop was further to the left than it was to the right, means the answer is going to be negative. So we attach the sign of the larger absolute value, of the number with a larger absolute value. Whereas back here, we just add the two absolute values, and we just stick the sign of the two numbers. 
5 plus 10 is 15, and since both were hops to the left, we stick the negative sign in front of the answer. Up here, 5 plus 3 is 8. Since they were both hops to the right, we just stick the positive sign to the 8.